Hi, I'm Shaka Hislop, and you're here at Extra Time TV. So, um, you know, something completely different, you know, this is a, you know, a more fun topic, uh, just the mm. end of the topics. You know, many people didn't know this, that you had a chance to play for the Three Lions, England, when, mm. uh, you know, several years ago, not too long ago, I know, I know you'd like, like me to phrase it like that, um, but you chose to play for Trinidad and Tobago and you did so admirably. We all saw the World Cup and, you know, the qualifiers, that was a historic time, you served our country well. But, you know, England is, you know, whether people like to agree or not. We know we have a lot of fans who have strong opinions on international teams. But England is, you know, a powerful nation. You know, the English Premier League speaks for itself. Um, what influenced that decision for you to choose Trinidad and Tobago? Well, I, let me just say, if, if, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised that some people still don't realise that, you know, I, I was able to play for England. I actually played for England uh, be international, sat on a bench for, the, uh, for, for a full international uh, and actually played as an overage player in, in, in a friendly game as a, with an under-23 squad. Um, but that was by virtue of birth. I was, I was born in England, left there when I was two years old. My dad was was um, going to law school in, in England at the time that he met and, and married my mother and uh, myself and, and uh, my younger brother were, were both born in England um, before moving back. But Trinidad is home. I, I, you know, we're only see myself as as Trinidad and Tobago Union. and and I as a as a kid I grew up dreaming of, of playing for for Trinidad and Tobago. I still remember going to um, my first national game in in the Oval and seeing John Granville and goal for the for the national team, um, and and that's what I wanted to do. But um, uh, at the time that I was I was called into to the England B squads and and the U squads, um, I, I was on. Uh, uncertain footing uh, professionally. I was going out a contract at, at Newcastle. I'd actually made myself available to try and to be able um, to, to play in the Gold Cup that, that summer that had been, uh, or that, that uh, January, that had been the January of, of 1998, I believe it was. Um, uh, but the, the squad had, had already been named and, and um, I, you know, I, I couldn't, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't considered for, for, for selection. And then I got this call, you know, to, to come in and join up with the, with the England squads, which, which I did. Um, I, I was then named by, by Kevin Keegan, or I was going to be named by Kevin Keegan as part of the squad um, that went into the qualifiers and for, for the Euro qualifiers in, in, in 99. Um, but I'd, I'd already made my decision. Bertil Sinclair was named as the Trinidad Tobago senior national coach. It was Bertil who gave me my break at, at, at youth international level at under 12. Um, so I, I didn't hesitate to, to, to rejoin uh, Bertil in, in, in 99. Um, and the rest, is, as they say, is history. You know, it's quite amazing because, uh, you know, as you said, when we first started responding, that a lot of people don't know this. And it's, it's, it's quite, it makes it more admirable. Because, you know, mm -hmm. the, the allure of England, you know, it's, it's a massive national team. You know, the pedigree of the national team, you know, it's very easy to go on a team that will be playing international competitions on a regular basis. Um, mm -hmm. You know, if, if you know, personal glory, but, you know, you chose and you had every reason to choose England. You know, you were literally almost on the field and you chose Trinidad and Tobago. And, you know, it, it's, it's the, the country is grateful. And I think it's important that the younger generation knows I'm still kind of there. I'm hanging on. I'm still holding on. I'm still in the middle somewhere, but it's uh, it's it's important that people know know these things because I don't think it's highlighted enough. And I thought it was appropriate. This is a time where everybody's sitting and you know assimilating information. And oftentimes, you know, the life of uh, you know people see the finished product. They see the Shaka Hislop of ESPN FC, who is all you know liked by everyone, supposedly. <laughs> but uh, you know, it's uh, yeah, oh yes, yes. Um, um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's something that I think that needs to be discussed. And, you know, uh, just a quick story. I mentioned this to you uh, uh, several times before, but for the fans out there, before I was into media and I was still a fresh-faced fanboy, when Shaka chose Trinidad and Tobago, I saw him uh, on the promenade and chased him down like a little fangirl and, you know, asked for his, his, uh, his autograph. It was you and, I believe, um, Clayton Ince. I think you guys, uh, it was before the, the crucial Mexico game. And, okay. you know, 
you know, I, did, I actually wanted to ask you then as a fan, but of course, you know, back then autographs, it was different back then, kids, you know, it wasn't about selfies. You had to take <laughs> an autograph, that was thing, and you signed my Valencia jersey. And, you know, I wanted to ask you even then, it was like, how did you choose Trinidad Tobago? And I'm so glad that you did. And, you know, speaking to you years later, it's almost surreal because we're having this conversation and it's, it's exciting. And it's exciting. Yeah, right. yeah. Well, I, I, like I said, there's a longer backstory to it, um, you know, um, which you know, there, there always is with, with, with these things, but um, which I, I, I won't get into at all now. And they all kind of revolved around Jack Warren and his attempts to, to have me banned from playing football and a, a standoff between uh, me, him and my father, who is trying to trying to. Um, start a, a players association trying to be at the time um but you know like i say ultimately it came down to, to bertha sinclair and but for bertha sinclair um who knows if i would have uh heeded the call to, to return to, to trying to bagel but you know like i say it's it's it, playing for playing for the red white and black is what my boyhood dreams were, were made of so once the stars aligned in in that way i didn't have in, in my mind i didn't have much of a choice i will also add that um, who you choose to represent at an international level is, 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 a, is a very personal one. I, I mean, I'm not the only person who had dual, you know, citizenship or um, there are any number who have even more and, and you know, are, are, are torn in, in, in what, they, what they decide. That, that's something only the individual can answer. And I'll never criticize anybody for making one choice over another, whether it's they were in a similar circumstance to me, born in one country and raised in another, and, um, you know, they, they chose the country of their birth, or whatever. It's a personal choice that I, I don't think anybody can, and we shouldn't try to, to answer for, for anybody. Of course, perfectly justifiable. And if some examples outside Trinidad that uh, we live in a world where, you know, it's, 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 it's highly interconnected now. Uh, having dual citizenship is almost a norm everywhere now. You know, uh, you know, Gonzalo Higuain for Argentina. Just, just for an example, French, right. France, Argentina. He chose to play for Argentina. You know, it's, 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 a, it's a, as you said, it's a very personal choice. And you know, I'm very grateful on the behalf of people of Trinidad and Tobago that you decided to choose us, because we mm -hmm. almost, we could have, we almost lost you, but you know, we got you, and we, we, you got to go to a World Cup, so not a bad deal, I think. <laughs> Well, I didn't have too much to do with the qualifiers. Um, <laughs> Kevin Dack was, was sitting you know, standing during the qualifiers, or particularly in the latter stages. I remember. But, that. you know, we're happy to have played a part. And, and, and uh, as I said very early on, I'm, I'm a fan first, and then um, that, that won't change regardless. Just a reminder, everyone, for more episodes with Shaka Hislop, be sure to head over to our YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more updates, interviews, and content.